Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. We're going to be doing a live RCW quiz. And by live, I mean we're going to be doing it live and then posting it on a... Um, I'm just checking if it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. Okay. So, what we have here is we have Y3, which is Y3. iBrooksy, which is iBrooksy. Kendall, the boss, which is Kendall1056. Alan, which is Twisted. And K4L, which is Dirter, or Creative for Life. So, let's begin. So, this is Kahoot. I ask 11 questions. Everybody, excuse me, watching my share screens on Skype. I'll, I'll say the question anyway. Who has the most World Tag Team title reigns? Flame 321, Eddie Armor, I, Brooksy, or Kids Rock 4? We have three answers in. 21 seconds, 20 seconds left on the clock. We have five answers, and the correct answer was I, Brooksy. Some people thought it was Eddie Armor, and those people will be deducted points temporarily. Um, okay, so we move on. We see K4L is taking the lead with I, Brooksy as well, just slightly behind. Allen still within Grasping Ridge, and Kendall and Y3 are lower in. We move on to the next question. How many Divas have won World Championships in RCW? One, three, two, or four? We have one answer in. Two, three, four, and five with just, le just 22 seconds left on the clock. And nobody got the correct answer with four, two, and one being correct answers, but nobody guessing three. So we'll see how that or wages on the leaderboard. And obviously, since no one got the right answer, it does not change. So we move on with K4L still in the lead. Around what pay-per-view were the Road WWE and World Tag Team titles created? Road to WrestleMania, WrestleMania, Survivor Series, SummerSlam. And for the record, for anyone that's playing and is trying to listen in for the answers, uh, triangle. I go triangle, hexagon, circle, and square in that order. And with 15 seconds left, we're still waiting for somebody to answer. And somebody has answered in the road to WrestleMania pay-per-view is correct with a 3-2. to two. two people guessing road to WrestleMania and SummerSlam being the popular vote in this match. And Brooke takes the lead at 1,800 points. Y3 gets a correct answer. Allen does not. K4L barely gets a correct answer. And Kendall the Boss is still in the bottom. We move on to the fourth question. There is still seven or eight. I can't do the math right now. Eight questions, I think, to do. Who was the first Intercontinental Champion? Flames 44, Viper RKO 101, Spency 18, or Raccoonia? All very early superstars, very... And only one of them has never won the Intercontinental Championship, and we'll see the correct answer when the last person locks in their answer. And the answer was Flames 44, and that was only one vote, as Viper RKO and Spency were also popular votes. Brooke takes the lead by a... Was wow! <coughs> by a by an astounding 1700 points my apologies when was rcw created duly note this is date we're about to begin could everybody mute their mic please august 8th 2013 august 8th 2013 i meant to put 2012 shit well this is a botched question so i apologize <laughs> oh crap i meant to put 2012 i don't know which one's correct either oh f me lock in your answer other guy Okay, apparently that one's correct, and most people guessed that, so I apologize to the guy who guessed Hexagon and Circle. It was my birthday, so thanks, guys. Thanks for recognizing. And Brooke, wow, is squashing the lead with a lucky, lucky advantage, guessing the correct answer instead of the wrong one. Kids, who were the winners of the... the right? Can you hold this question? I gotta go right quick. Okay, here, okay. Sorry, I can't hold this question, but this is... We'll have to take a break after this question temporarily. Everybody has to find the correct combination of Royal Rumble winners. Sport and Creative. Sport and Rabbit, Viper and Rabbit, and Eddie and Rabbit. And I think everybody has locked in their answers. Um, except for Twisted, who is not here right now. I accidentally put in the wrong. <laughs> okay, mute, 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 mute. Everyone mute. Everyone mute. And the correct combination was Sport and Rabbit. And that was a unanimous decision by everybody. And we will take a quick break. From this commercial break, let's um let's get a sponsor going. Who do we want? Um, Nesquik. Subway, Subway, Subway. Shh. And Mountain this. Do. Shh. Okay. Uh, this the following program was brought to you in part by Nesquik, both your favorite R favorite RCW superstar and your favorite chocolate milk. As you can see, we have a variety of different products. This includes whatever the hell is going on here. We got some strawberry. Um, we have something that looks like someone had their period and a cop dipping semen into it. We got a choco bar. 
We got some sick hoodies that look animated as fuck. We got some serious rabbit shit over here. Pretty delicious stuff. So make sure to get in your favorite um, RCW Superstar along with your favorite chocolate milk. We're waiting for Twister to come back. This was also brought to you in part by Subway. Think fresh, eat fresh. We also got Subway Surfer over here, but we don't want copyright, so ignore that, please. Um, We got various different chains. It's one of the most popular in the entire world and it is the most popular fast food chain and as you can see it it helps people lose weight is what i'm assuming is going on and not just a random guy wearing holding a pair of jeans um so yes yes ricky did count although i don't yeah it was a diva account um but nobody got that so it didn't factor in the score <coughs> Dirters on TV, and we got a subway train. That's not what we were referring to, so please ignore that as well. We don't want copyrights from Metro Station. Uh, Fruity Pebble. Oh my god, I can't type today. And we got Fruity Pebble, sponsored by John Cena, as you can see by this wonderful image. We're still waiting for Twisted if he could hurry the hell up, because we don't have all day. And of course, Chocolate Pebbles is sponsored by a black guy. That's also Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving. Still black. Okay, I'm sorry, we can't hold off any longer. Let's get on to the questions because we Is ran out of money. Black? <laughs> okay, everyone mute your mic, please, for the competition. Every... Well, I'm black, I have to mute my mic now. <laughs> okay, everyone mute your mic, please. Okay, <clears throat> let's begin. Ed Brooke is wa whooping the lead right now by 1,900 points right now. How many RCW pay-per-views have there been since the beginning? 18, 20, 22, and 24. For all you people who are very, very, very highly knowledgeable about this, or are just taking a random guess, I wish you luck. These are in random order, so I actually did not put these in this order, but... Kahoot's actually really good, I'm, uh... I promote Kahoot, so I apologize, we're gonna have to wait the whole time throughout these, because Twisted is not here right now, and I can't kick people in the middle of a quiz. No offense, but I don't want to wait 20 minutes while he is away. And the answer is 20 pay-per-views coming up to 21, coming up this fast lane, and nobody guessed that, so this 21. does not factor in the score. And Brooks still beating out the competition by 1,900 points. Actually, 1,891 points. Yes. 90, I don't fucking know. Who was the first NXT champion? We got Blackuchu. We got Lepam. We got Mamem. We got Jiggy, the first ever person to win the NXT. Uh, three answers almost simultaneously. Just waiting for the fourth person out of the four that are actually here. So, Flakashu, a very famous NXT. Son of a bitch, he's back. And the, everyone but two guessed the correct answer with Jiggy. And Brooke and K4L moving up. Will K4L be able to get the next few questions right over Brooke? Which of the following is not an Olgi Nigel account? What a fun one. Kylan George, Ricky Green, Aiden English, or USA Dude? And a very... I'm gonna... Wow. People thought it was Aiden English, but no, that was pre... Pre-WrestleMania to a slightly post-WrestleMania, but Kylan George is indeed not an Olgi Nigel account and joined well before Olgi Nigel himself. And Brooksy4 is still taking the lead by 1100 or 2100 points. My apologies. Who has the most divas, di 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 divas title reigns? Hate voice cracks so bad. Do I actually get to answer? Oh, can I answer? And people thought it was indeed Sport, but I'm going to guess I think I know who got this. Sport did have a lot of Divas titles. I didn't titles. get myself. What? Why I three got sport. it? I got it. I guess Sport, so I mean... I thought bro I did it. Well, Y3 crazy. may be able to pull back, but there is this is the last question. What is the title of Kids Rock Forest theme song? Oh, who's that handsome guy? Spanish D-O-T-R, Extreme or Done, Dun Dun Dun. And I think this is... Wow. Somebody thought it was D-O-T-R. Anyone want to speak up on that? Anybody? Mm. Press the wrong one. I did not pick that. 
Wow. And Brooke Brooke. still takes the lead by 1,100 points. Brooke is the winner of the first RCW quiz, and we will be be doing more in the future. For the record, that the leaderboard is five, and it's not just because there's five people. So if we have more and you don't see them on the leaderboard, that is why. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this quiz. You want me to do my quiz? Uh, Not on the RCW network, and everybody just keep – I'm going to – Keep your mute mics muted. I'm just going to do a quick plug in. Okay. So about 10 minutes. It was kind of fun. It's something quick. About two minutes of it, maybe a minute and a half, went to sponsors, just fake sponsors. If you do actually want to get advertisements, I'm more than willing. Make sure you check out daily content on the RCW Network. Top 10s every weekend. And I apologize for this recent weekend not having two. But there is two pay-per-view weekends this month that I don't want to kill out on content. So my apologies on that one. This weekend will feature one like normal. And then Fastlane, when the normal pay-per-view for WWE is there, we... Will we promise we will have two top tens for you? Um, so thank you for checking out this episode, and please message me, and I will send out a shout whenever we're gonna do one, and we'll try to get as many people organized. If you want to be on it, you have to be on Skype because the answers only show for the actual person asking the question, and that's whoever shares. I have to share screen, so that's why it has to be on Skype. <clears throat> My apologies. So if you'd like to be on, just message me, and I'll message you when it gets on. And yeah, this was pretty fun. So thank you for checking out this episode, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.